Assalamualaikum Saya ni Ais Agar-Agar Bet Amat Syukur And today our group This is a group thing We present our report For our project So uh, Inverter is referred to A power electric device That is to convert The power from DC Into AC form So the most common type Is the half bridge inverter Half bridge inverter On the output Then It can be improvised By adding Two more switches To form a full bridge inverter So in full bridge inverter The output voltage Is equal to the input voltage However the lack of half bridge And full bridge inverter Is obvious Because of the output waveform Produced by this inverter Is in square wave So the total harmonic distortion In square wave is high And cost is not suitable To be used in most of Electrical appliances So uh, Pass wave modulation PWM is implemented In inverter To lower the total harmonic distortion A PWM signal is obtained Through comparing two signal Which usually known As a reference signal And carrier signal So practically PWM signal Is used as the switching signal To trigger the gate Of the power switch Of the power switch Such as metal oxide Semiconductor Field effect transistor MOSFET Or insulated gate Bipolar transistor IGBT So uh, our project program So in this project uh, A three-piece inverter With sinusoidal PWM signal Switching shield Will need to be designed To output a 50 Hz uh, 415 volt line to line AC signal Then the RN load Is required to be used With 14 ohm For the resistor And 0.3 mA For the inductor So the total harmonic distortion PSD for the output voltage and current uh, must be less than 7% And then uh, the problem statement, there are three problem statement Which is the first one is The required uh, VDC level that to be used supply the three phase inverter for it to be able to come up with 50 Hz uh, And 415 volt line to line AC signal So the design and construction for SPWN switching circuit and the three phase inverter in MATLAB simulation And then lastly, the solution to ensure the THD of the output current and voltage will be less than 70% And then project objective So there are three main objectives for our project which is First one is to design and construct a three-piece inverter for RN load using MATLAB sibling And then uh, to sub to output 50 Hz 415 volt line to line AC signal Using the three-piece inverter with VDC less than 1000 volt So the next one will be presented by Tommy So that's all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tirmogan Sanofrevi. My material number is DE200111. And today I'm going to present our group assignment for methodology. So for the methodology, uh, this is the overview of project planning. So from the start to the calculation for parameter of uh, what we call uh, sine pulse uh, width modulation switching. And then next to the contrast. SPWM switching circuit and then uh, run simulation if yes means the calculation for parameter of three phase inverter will uh, occur if no means uh, the redesign of uh, SPWM switching circuit will uh, happen and then it's back to the uh, calculation for parameter and then if yes means the it will continue for calculation for parameter of three phase inverter and then move to the construct three phase inverter in MATLAB And then move to the run simulation again, and yes means it will generate output signal uh, waveform. No means you uh, need to redesign three phase inverter circuit, and then it will back to the uh, calculation. And then uh, after the gener generation of output signal waveform, it will uh, we can observe the THD percentage. And then uh, the THD uh, percentage must be less than seven percent. If no means, it will back to the, the redesign of three phase inverter circuit. So if yes means uh, the, the what we call the simulation is and so this is the methodology flowchart of our project group assignment. And then okay, the project begins with the calculation of a uh, sine pulse uh, with modulation switching to determine the parameter which is a uh, frequency and amplitude value uh, to be set for the carrier and a uh, reference signal. So after that, we need to construct uh, the construction of uh, SPWM switching circuit begin after all the value had been determined. And then after after that, the simulation will be run and the switching signal will be checked whether it is able to output the relevant switching signal. If the switching signal is not the same as the required, the switch uh, circuit needs to be reconstructed. So that means we need to redesign the circuit. So after that, the progress continue with the calculation for three-phase inverter and the construction for the three-phase inverter circuit in MATLAB Simulink. So we need to use software like a MATLAB to uh, calculate uh, the three-phase inverter. So after that, the simulation will begin 
uh, will again being run together with the SPWN switching circuit to obtain the desired output. So if the output is different with the desired values, troubleshooting need to be carried out and the circuit may need to be reconstructed. So when the output signal can be obtained in the simulation, it will be analyzed to ensure that it, that is, uh, that it is a match with the requirement of the project. So basically that is the flow of the uh, our project, which is the methodology. So that's it from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tommy Lim Kelyang and my metric number is DE200108. So in this presentation, I will explain about the design installation we use in the project. So first, we will go to the SPWN switching circuit. So this circuit we use to generate switching signal. So here we have three sine wave as the reference signal and the triangle wave as the carrier signal. So this sine wave will differ different with each other about 120 degree. So with using this signal, we will combine it and compare it using logic comparator and it will generate six different si uh, switching signal. So this is the calculation for the amplitude modulations. So the formula is just si simply dividing the amplitude of reference signal with the amplitude of carrier signal. So we obtain a value of 0 0.8. And in this table, we have the parameter of the sinusoidal signal and triangle signal. So the amplitude is 0 0.8 and 1 respectively for both signal. And for the frequency, sinusoidal signal is 50 Hz and triangle signal is 20 kHz. So next, this is the three-phase inverter with RLO circuit. So we have VDC here and six MOSFET switch. And each switch is connecting with the uh, switching signal from SPWM switching scheme. So here we have the RLO, three RLO connecting in series. And this is the filter. So this is the inductor and capacitor. So after that, we will output the line-to-line uh, -line voltage. And this is the scope to observe the waveform of the voltage, output voltage. And this is the current measurement and also one scope to observe the current waveform. So this is the main formula we use in this project. We line to line equal to this formula. So after insert all the information we have, such as 415 VRMS for the output, and the amplitude modulation is equal to 0 0.8, we obtain the VDC we need to insert into the circuit is approximately 800 for 37.12 volt. So this is the output power, calculation of output power. And by using this value, we'll insert into the formula of calculation for current output. So we obtain this value. And this value next will be used to calculate the parameter for LC filter. So for our summary, this is the parameter that we need to insert into the simulation. So now I will move to the simulation to show you how the inverter will operate. So okay, now we are in MATLAB simulating environment. So this is the first circuit, which is the SPWM signal scheme circuit. And the second one is the three-phase inverter. So now we need to input all the parameter from the calculation just now. So as we have determined, the amplitude of sine wave is 0 0.8 and the carrier signal is 20 kilohertz with one, uh, one total amplitude. So for the VDC, the same as the uh, calculation just now. This is the inductor for the filter. This is capacitor, the value, and this is the RL. So now we will wait for the simulation to finish, and I will continue to explain about it more detail after the simulation is finished. So now the simulation is finished. So let us observe the uh, duty cycle, the signal waveform. Okay, so this is the signal waveform that we can observe. The each waveform is different. So this is indicate the switching signal. So when this signal is passed through the uh, MOSFET, it will oh, let the inverter to operate. So for the VDC, uh, so, so the VAC, sorry, the V peak is 5.500 Z uh, 90 and 0.9 V peak. So if we change it to RMS, so we will obtain 415 VAC. So this is the waveform for the current. So as we can observe, the, the time here, the time for one cycle is 0 0.02. So the frequency is 50 Hz. So move to, to the THD. So this is the THD for current output. So the THD percentage is 2.23. And we need to obtain the THD for voltage. So this is the voltage for uh, uh, THD for voltage, 0.47%. Hi and Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Yusuf Nasol. So this is the last part of our project, which is conclusion. 
As for the conclusion, construction of three phase inverter circuit and simulation loop provide a clear picture of the operation in inverter output AC signal and from DC signal compared to the theoretical knowledge. Through the simulation, operating sequence inverter can be observed by step from generation of SWPM switching signal until output turns to the wave of voltage. Besides, by applying the theoretical knowledge and formula regarding the inverter, the understanding toward the knowledge has increased. After completed design three-phase inverter with SWPM switch scheme, as results show, inverter convert a total 847.12 VDC into 1.5 VAC with percentage total harmonic distortion less than 7%. Besides, the SWPM switching circuit also will affect amplitude of the output parameters such as voltage and current. Therefore, various the amplitude of reference signal which is sensible. The output can be increased or decreased in certain range, but if the change of amplitude as an signal is too large, it may cause the percentage of the output increase. Lastly, through the conducted simulation, also provided us to learn the different type of inverter, which type inverter will have their own advantage and disadvantage to be used in various applications based on their characteristic. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.